Yo yo people, welcome back to Ron's Tech Hub and today I'm going to show you how to connect your SN30 Pro Plus 8-bit Do controller to your Nintendo Switch 2. This controller came out a very long time ago, but it does work with the Nintendo Switch 2. There was an update released, so I'm going to show you exactly how to install that update and then get it connected. Let's go. So step one is you simply go to your browser and you're going to search for 8-bit do upgrade tool and as of July 2025 it's going to be the first link that comes up. You simply need to click on it. Once you click on it you're going to go to this page here. You can download it for Mac OS or for Windows because I have Windows I'm obviously going to go with Windows. I'm going to click on the left hand side one here to download it. When it comes up with this thing to save it, save the file wherever you want. I'm going to save mine to documents. It's going to come as a zipped folder so I'll also show you how to unzip the folder. I'm going to click save. That's now been downloaded. I am now now gonna open my file explorer which is here I'm gonna go to where it says documents that's where I saved mine I'm gonna click on this once to highlight it it says ZIP at the end so I need to extract the contents of this click on it once to highlight it I'm using Windows 11 and then I'm gonna click on extract all for Windows 10 systems you can simply right click and you will see all the same options for example extract all here I'm gonna click on extract all this window is gonna come up and all you need to do is to click on extract wait for that to finish and now you'll see two folders in that same location. One of them will have .zip at the very end, that's a file extension, and the other one will not. The one that does not have the file extension, so just a normal folder, that's the one you want to open. I'm going to go into that folder, I'm going to double click again, and I've got three, well four items here. I'm going to click on the one that says 8-bit do firmware updater.exe. I'm going to double click on that. It's going to come up with this program here. Let me minimize everything else in the background. This is the program that comes up. Very simple program, and all you need to do at this one is to plug your USB cable into your controller and into your PC. This is my controller here. I'm going to grab my USB cable that's already plugged into my PC and simply plug that into my controller like so. Once I've done that, it comes up on my computer straight away and it says added support for switch to. All you need to do at this stage is to click on where it says update. So I'm going to click on update now. I haven't done anything else. I didn't need to press any button combination. Simply plug it in and it will be detected. I'm going to click update. It's going to go from me from 6.01 to 6.02. So once that finishes updating, then you can connect it to your Nintendo Switch as usual. My update is finished. I'm going to close this. I'm going to unplug my cable. Then I'm going to try to connect this to my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be using my Nintendo Pro Controller because I have my console docked and I don't want to undock it for this. All you need to do is using your Joy-Cons or any other controller that you have, you're going to navigate to where it says controllers first. So click on controllers there. Then you're going to go to where it says change grip order. Click on that. Once you're here, the controller you're using should stop working for a bit. Now I'm going to grab my 8-bit do controller and to get it into Nintendo Switch mode, I'm going to press and hold select and Y at the same time and that light there is going to start flashing. So I'm going to press and hold this. Perfect. That light there should now be flashing. Hopefully you can see it. Mine connects straight away because I have already connected this to my system. If yours does not connect, all you have to do at this point is to simply hold that button there for like three to five seconds and it should just pop up here straight away. Shouldn't have to do anything else. That's how I connected mine. It works perfectly fine. As you can see here, I'm navigating perfectly. Okay. Hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching.